Hello there, this is Gerson from Thrifty World. This is going to be a very quick video on six ways to start a reselling business with absolutely no money. And keep in mind, when I started this reselling journey, and maybe two or three years ago, I started going really hard. And I found myself at a dead-end job. I, was really, I really didn't have no money to start with. And it was really tough in the beginning, but I figured it out. And this journey has been awesome, and I want to give back to the community, to the community whoever needs the needs the help, because I wish this video was up when I started. I would have been that would have been such a great help. So I want to start off with the first one. The first one is gonna be Craigslist. I think Craigslist is a very awesome platform. If you want to get things for cheap, you know, if you want to get some work done, if you want to sell things. But a lot of people forget that there's a free section, and as you can see here, there's a free section. Make sure you go to your to your city. And here we're gonna, in this case, gonna be Miami, Florida, where I'm at. So right here it says for sale. You're gonna go to the free section right here, and you'll be surprised at the things that they sell. I am the things that they give away for free. I see people give away, um, like this right here. And TV screens, beds, like for an example, and like this is a perfect example. And this one that says big screen broken TV must picked up today. This is so, this is something that you could really look into and you could profit from a lot if you know what you're doing. If I if I if I if I were to start right now, this would be something really great to start off with. And this is broken TV, as obviously you can't sell it as new. But what I'll do, since I have experience uh, selling on, I'm reselling on eBay and different platforms, what you can do, you can actually take out um, the TV parts and sell, the, and sell it for parts. And as a matter of fact, you, I think you'll get more money for parts than you'll actually do with the entire set. I don't know if, the, if TV parts do great, but that's something that you obviously have to look into. But that's something that... Then you could definitely look into so that'll be pretty cool. Also, what I see a lot is furnitures. Look at the elementary school teacher materials. You could definitely resell these, especially right now that the, um, that, the that the kids are gonna go back to school really soon. So that'll be really awesome right there. And for an example, this one right here, I have grabbed a couple of these. But the thing about these is that you need you, that you need a space and you also need a truck, so keep that in mind. But yeah, you could definitely resell this on um resell them on uh back to Craigslist. You could resell them on OfferUp. You could sell them resell them on the Facebook Marketplace and also um, platforms like Lego. I personally never tried it, but there's so many platforms out there that you can make it happen. Look at this one right here. I bet you that if if this is for free, you could resell that easily for another two or three hundred dollars. But you need the the space for that, and that's not gonna sell one day to another. You're gonna need patience, and that's when you're gonna have to you're gonna have to wait for a while. But you could you're gonna get somebody that's gonna need it. So that's pretty cool. So I suggest that um, if you have absolutely no money, this is a great way to start. Keep in mind that. You're not gonna scroll this just one time. You have to look for this. You have to look at this um, Craigslist ad at the free section. You have to look at it every day. So for you to be able to um, pop on some on something good. So that's a that's this is one of the greatest ways that you can actually get free stubs and resell it back to eBay or different platforms. Also, what you wanna do, you could create your own ads. Let's like say for an example. I'm looking for broken electronics, and you can send them. And you, like I said, you can resell them back on the parts for on eBay, and resell them on Macari, and there's so many different platforms. You just gotta figure out and um, what's best for you, and and also um you can you could put and um, broken electronics. You could put ads that you're looking for clothing, for shoes, for video games, and for plush animals. Basically anything, you know. Just put your free. Uh, the ads is and you can put it for free. So, um, but keep in mind that sometimes after a certain while you have to go back and renew it. So don't forget about that. So those are the two great um, two great ways on Craigslist that you can actually leverage from and you can actually make some 
Okay, I said five products so you can resell them. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, moving on from Craigslist, we're gonna go to Fiverr. Fiverr is a very interesting platform. I have nothing bad to say about Fiverr. I worked on, as a matter of fact, this is where I started making my bulky money. Okay. Yes, people pay you for five dollars here, five dollars there, but once you start getting better and people want and people like your work, people will contact you and they're gonna pay you thirty-five to a hundred dollars. And you'll get some for five bucks, you'll get for, for ten dollars, it all depends, you know, what you do. I started off as a social media and um, Pinterest mar marketer. I do I also did social media marketing for other companies. I mean there's so many there's so many things out here that you can actually do. And one of my one of the ways that you can actually start making some really fast cash is to testimonial. All you need is a is a normal as a normal camera, or you could probably do it in, in your own um, laptop camera, whatever fits you best. And you can make testimonial videos for other companies, for for products, for blogs, and people want and people. This is a very high demand and um, job on the fiber okay so look this and um, this gig is right here is 25 this one's 10 this one's five so they, they all vary okay so keep in mind that these five dollars it's not really gonna be five dollars it can be for something really simple but there's also upgrades okay this is the perfect look perfect example look this is the basic okay this is the standards and basic is is um okay let's go to the um five dollar basic there's a one day delivery five revisions there's a 30 seconds of running time and when we look at the ten dollar standard one and you see there you start you're, you're starting to add more things like a logo a full hd and 30 seconds 30 seconds running time basically you start adding things you start adding more things you know Companies then companies also looking for spoke for spokes PM spokesperson for the website and so very high demand right now so then let me give you an example right here in this right here So yeah, you get the point, you know, and um, make your own testimonial videos. You gotta find what you're what you're really good at. I know a lot of people and I know a lot of people that do graphic designs and they they do they do their they do it for their for for customers like merchants and merch by Amazon or people that have their own website, people have Teesprings or just for any type of graphics, you know, people will actually pay you and a lot of money for for even for even logos for their businesses, you know. So you just gotta find what you're really good at. And there's so many things to write. If you know how to write, if you know how to translate, if you know how to copyright, which is really high demand in the internet marketing world. And if you know how to write blog posts. You know, it's like I I always hire people to do my blog posts because I'm not a really good writer, and I always look for talented people that can help me out. If you're good, like this one right here. This is was one of my gigs that I had this like maybe two, two or three years ago, and let me tell you, I made so much money after this gig. It's, it was crazy. It's a whiteboard video. So I can explain your video type. You know when you speak, when people start drawing, and keep in mind some of these. Look at that, two thousand dollars, one hundred and seventy, fifteen. When I started, everything was five bucks. You know, Fiber, Fiber have evolved a lot, and I'm really happy for them as well. So, I mean, keep in mind, you know, when, like, for whiteboard videos, and um, you need a software. And some of these, and some of these jobs requires a software. Some softwares are free. Some of them are really cheap. Some of them, you don't even need a software, you know. So, okay, and keep that in mind. So, let me see if I can find something else right here. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit of everything right here. Business, business tips, presentation, career advice, business plans. And graphic designs, people are looking for logos and cartoons and flyers and social media designs, banner ads. The, um, it's just endless, you know, it's just so many opportunities here. All you gotta do is just 
is get off your butt and get to work you know it's just it just takes a lot of effort everything, everything is here it's free it's gonna take a lot of effort that's it okay so um so the funny thing is that when i started fiverr i started because i really needed you know um i had a i had a dead-end job i was getting paid minimum wage and i found fiverr and i started doing this on the side so when I when, when I when I first first started, I was getting five bucks here, ten dollars here. So what I'll do, I'll grab those five or ten dollars, and they'll go they'll go they'll go directly to my bank account. I grab that money, whatever I have, even if it's five or ten bucks. It wasn't always five or ten bucks. It's gonna be more, you know. And I'll put that back into the reselling business. And you basically you just keep flipping money over and over and over. And I said, for an example, and for five dollars. And you're probably gonna get like three with the with the fees um eating up and all that stuff. Let's say you get two jobs for five ten ten dollars, um for the two jobs that's minimum minimum minimum. And um, so, you could grab those ten dollars, buy yourself uh, go to Goodwill, buy yourself some some shoes, go to the bins, get yourself some clothes, and those dollars those ten dollars could easily turn into a hundred dollars if you know what you're doing. That's the thing if you know what you're doing. So, this is the great website to get started. And I love this website and now I don't I don't sell on it what I do I just use um I hire I hire people to help me out now so I look at this like um oh uh, what can I how can I say the, the exact work that I'm looking for I don't know I'm sorry about that I, I don't know I just I forgot <laughs> so okay we're gonna we did Craigslist and we're gonna knock out Fiverr and over here this is one of my favorite ones too you can also use the yard sale treasure map garage sales is an awesome way to look for free stuffs you're gonna ask yourself why am I gonna go to garage sales and look for free stuffs you'll be surprised you know some people they start giving things away by the end of the day some most people don't want to take back things and they don't want to take their items back home into the garage and if you're there the first thing in the morning you tell them hey you know what I'm starting my own business and I would like I would you know be cool if you help me out with some donations whatever you don't whatever you don't want you just give me a call you hand them out a card you just give me a call and I'll come pick it up for you okay cuz you keep in mind and these people they're gonna grab these stuffs and they're gonna take it back to their to, to their to the thrift stores to Goodwill Salvation Army whatever type of thrift store there is and they're gonna get it for, and those people are gonna get it for free okay um, and you want it to come into your hands better so and the is a, it's an awesome way to to look free stuff for to look for free stuff as a matter of fact sometimes when you pull up in the in garage sales and yard sales or estate sales you find boxes when it where it says free stuff so be on the lookout for those boxes those boxes and you never know what's gonna be inside of them so and don't forget about that that's a excellent way to and so here here in florida in miami florida where i'm at we call this um like curbs you know and people put um unwanted stuff from their houses and they put them inside of the curb with so the city could come and just take it and funny thing is that every time when i go walk my dog I always find things like broken electronics. I have found Keurig and coffee makers. I have taken out the coffee, the the Keurig coffee and the tank, the water tank, and I have sold that on eBay for like thirty to forty dollars, you know. And and that's just free money, you know. You just gotta know what you're looking for. And you gotta look for and broken lamps, broken things sell on eBay. Sometimes they're not even broken. People just don't want them. I have seen and. People that have followed me on Periscope know that I have actually walked in my neighborhood and saw a curb full of vinyls and books. I mean, like over fifty to one hundred dollars. You know, people just they just told me come to my house. We're moving out. Just take everything. Take the vinyls. Take all the cassette. Take the um, the boombox. I was like, wow. You know, just for something that I saw free outside the curb. You know, it turned out to something like a big haul, and I, I had no money in it. So, like, like I said, it just takes a lot of effort, you know. So we're gonna knock, we're gonna knock this one out here. And yes, family members. 
ask your own family members, hey, you know, um, give them a call, like, hey, Uncle Bob, you know, um, let's just start on my own business, you know. It would be really cool if you have, you know, have your full support, you know. Is there anything in the house that you don't need, like uh, something broken or books or CDs, clothing, shoes that you don't want? You know, I'll, what I'm going to do, I'm going to resell it. I'm going to resell it back online, you know, and and some of them were willing to help you, you know, and I have done this plenty of times, you know, and people are, people are very generous. They just, they just hand it out to me, you know, and I'm really grateful for that as well, you know, I saw it's a great way, you know, if, if they don't want, and they're those type of people, which I really haven't bumped into myself, like, oh, I don't want to give anything for free. I'm like, hey, you know what? Let's both make money out of it. And do a consignment with and do a consignment with them, you know. Hey, I'll send it for you on eBay. I'll take fifty percent, whatever, and whatever, and we make out of it. So, and don't forget about that. And um, the sixth thing I want to talk to you about um, is networking. And networking with other resellers is, has changed my life tremendously, and um, it's been a blessing to me, really. And you be like, hey, how, how can I get in contact with these reselling people? You know, I find them in Periscope and look for them on Facebook groups, you know, give a, and look for people that are in your area and look for, yeah, people look for, and, and look, look for these people in Facebook groups, on YouTube, and talk to these people and just be like, hey, anybody out there from Miami, let's get together and let's go picking, you know? And some of these resellers, man, you know, they, they have so much mer- so much merchandise they, they don't know what to do with it. They're not even dealing with it anymore, so just they'll give it to you for free, you know, they'll you know, they cut up a or you could cut up a deal with them, you know, but like, hey, I'll take care of all, all, all the problems, the headache, the inventory, I'll stock the inventory for you and let's work together, you know. Just you just find your way. And another and one more thing that I forgot to uh, actually mention. Um the last one, dumpster diving. You just gotta check with your local local laws, you know, to make sure it's nothing illegal. And just make sure it's everything's legit, you know. You could go dumpster diving, basically anywhere. And I've seen so many people on YouTube videos go to dumpster diving, and they come out with these incredible hauls like fish tanks and dog foods for for ages and so many things here, and like games. It's crazy. So. It's crazy the things that people just throw out there, you know, and and just give it a try, you know. And, and one of my one of my buddies, um, he found he found lamps, found vinyls. And it, it was crazy. It was crazy find. It was like a jackpot. And people just don't know what they're throwing away, you know. So um, thank you so much for you know for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And you have any questions, any concerns, just throw a comment below or just get in contact with me or um or, or something like that, you know. So so I'm signing off right now. Um thank you so much. And Gerson signing off. Later later.